Hey motorcycle riders, are you tired of being super hot, dehydrated, and stressed out on a really hot motorcycle ride? Well stick around. In this video, I'm going to show you how to keep your cool. My name is Monique Phillips and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about riding in summer hot temperatures and how to use a cooling vest to keep you cool and comfortable as you go on a long ride. So of course summertime means more opportunities to ride but in summertime those temps can also rise up into the 90s and into the hundreds depending on where you live. So let's talk about cooling vests. There's lots of different vests on the market and I'm going to teach you today a really simple way to have your cooling vest handy and ready to go if you know that it's going to be a hot day or if you're going on a long trip and you know that partway through your trip the temps are going to get really high, you'll be ready to tackle that weather. Let's talk about summer safety. When you're riding in the heat, make sure you're drinking plenty of fluids, water, as well as sports drinks. Make sure you eat regular meals and have snacks. You want to replace the salt that we lose from sweating. Also limit your exposure to extreme heat. So if you're out in the desert, maybe make sure that you're traveling early in the morning or in the very late afternoon and evening when it's not so hot. So why should you use a cooling vest? Well again, it's to help with your health and your riding safety. It's going to prevent fatigue, it's going to keep your core body temperature down, it's going to prevent heat exhaustion, which could lead to heat stroke. And when you're riding, you're going to be able to stay alert and focused better, which will allow you to operate your motorcycle safely. Okay, so what you're going to need is the really big size jumbo. So this is a two and a half gallon Ziploc bag. And I, I get the ones with the slider on top. So, um, and they, they just seem to be made a little more sturdy. Uh, you're also going to need your cooling vest, of course. So what I have here are, are two Ziploc bags, um, just in case one of them pops or gets poked. Um, so I've got a Ziploc bag inside of another one. And in this bag, I have four cooling vests, so for all of us in our family. And I also have a handkerchief. So there's lots of different things you can buy on the market. Uh, I'll, I'll put some links below in the description. But this, this particular, let me just toss this. This particular handkerchief has a little built-in compartment right here, and when it's dry, it, it just feels like there's a little something in, sewn in, but, but you can't really feel it until you get it wet. And what's inside are these kind of like gel crystals that plump up and get bigger when they're wet. And that's what holds the water and keeps you cool. So now let me show you some of our cooling vests. We have two, we have two different styles technically three. This one, it has a zipper in the front. This one does not have the gel beads inside. This one does. These are getting harder to find, I've noticed when I look on the internet for searches. So you'll see, uh, this one's a little bit different. It's, it has some elastic bands uh, on the side and Velcro so that you can kind of make it form fitting to your body, which is, I'll explain why you want to do that. And if you can see the pattern, let me put my arm through here, it has rows. So every other row has those gel bead crystals inside. And so they're, it, they kind of plump up a little bit uh, when you get it wet. So what we do is we carry this with us in the Ziploc bag when we're on a trip, just in case. Uh, because sometimes the weather changes and you don't know. But if we for sure know that it's going to be hot, it's coming with us. And I'll show you what we do to have it prepped and ready to go for the day that it's going to be hot. If you're at a gas station that has a bathroom with a sink, you can put the Ziploc bag in there and fill it up the best you can because it's a little big and it might always fit in the sink. If you're staying at a hotel, you can use the bathtub to fill the bag up. And if you're at a campground, it's really easy to use the water spigots or hoses that they have available for the campers. So here we are literally stopped at a gas station. And so we pulled out our Ziploc bag 
that still has water in it and we are going to dump out all the water to, to you know get ready to put the vests on and then when you take them out of the bag um, if you want to keep them really wet uh, don't wring them out my kids hate uh, when they're overly wet though so we we tend to wring them out a little bit before we put them on the kids you're going to want to wear a form-fitting moisture wicking shirt that allows the cooling vest to be as snug to your body as it can be. And here's my son putting his vest on and you can see he's making a face. Our kids think that they feel a little bit icky uh, putting the vests on because they're wet. And believe it or not, my daughter actually complains that she gets cold sometimes because she's either in the sidecar or behind one of her large parents blocking the wind. Okay, so another tip that I want to give you is how to wear and use your cooling vest properly to get the most out of it. It kind of seems opposite of what you might think, but usually during summer, you want to wear a mesh jacket to allow more wind flow. And that's going to be great up to a certain temperature. But if you want to use a cooling vest, having a mesh jacket will actually kind of ixnay the whole point of the vest because letting too much air flow will dry the vest out really quick. So it's better if you have a regular motorcycle jacket with some of your vents or all of your vents zipped up. And again, this is just me talking from personal experience and your vest will stay wet and cool longer because it's not just completely getting dried out in the first half an hour of your ride. So keep that in mind. You're going to want to have, a regular motorcycle jacket to get the a longer effect of that cooling vest. All right, let's talk about health and safety issues. Signs of trouble in terms of heat exhaustion, this is a good list to follow. If you feel faint or dizzy, if you have a headache, if you have excessive sweating, nausea or vomiting, if you just feel really weak, tired, and just kind of feeling crappy, Maybe it's time to, to pull over and cool off. Make sure you're getting enough fluids, uh, you know, go sit in the shade or go inside a gas station that has air conditioning on. But if all of this progresses into heat stroke, then that's really bad and that's considered a medical emergency. So if you're riding with somebody who's confused, acting funny, headache, if they are not sweating at all, that's bad. So check out this list, nausea, vomiting, body temperature above 103, their skin is red and hot. You need to treat this as a medical emergency and call 911, get them out of the heat, get them in an air conditioned building, try to cool their body temperature off and push the fluids. I hope this video helped you out. Look in the description for links and more information. Also click the subscribe button so you can get more updates and more cool videos like this. And you can also subscribe to my blog, www.motorcyclemama.org. I hope to see you out on a ride. Take care.